Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss regarding Flipkart registration process for 2028 students regarding GWC program Girls Wanna Code. This contest is only for uh, second year students and only for girls, right? And you may get a chance for full time conversion and if it is done, you may get a chance for 32 LPA internship then pre-placement of a full time opportunity also there. This is the link where you need to apply. And before going to apply uh, to that, okay, the prerequisites before that is, yeah, this is the eligibility also, okay, second year students are eligible and you need an active email ID and a valid phone number, they will do verification, college name details, everybody know university details and what is your CGPA and all and what skills, you have to mention what skills you are good and you need a LinkedIn account, it's optional, but if you have a LinkedIn account, you can give the profile link there and if you have github account it is giving you that link if you are done with any projects we can also add this all are optional okay but if you have any projects you can collect and you can update that okay in the registration process it is going to ask these details as well right and uh, yeah first what you have to do is you try to click on the link whatever we shared here this link you can find it in job uh, this description also this link you need to click once you click on that link right you will get okay a page contest link i'll show you that yeah you will get it like this here you have one button called register when you open you, i'll just open now itself i think that's better now i'll just open that link you can see that I already registered that's why it may be shown as registered also but I'm just opening for your understanding. It's already registered for me. Here generally, if you are not registered, it will be registered. Or here it is like sign up will come. As just now I showed you in this screenshot. In bottom, it will show as a register. And here it is sign up or login. First step is you have to sign up. If you already have an account in my career net platform, then you can register. First step is you have to click on the sign up as you are a new user, you have to click on sign up. Right, so once you sign up, okay, it will ask you set a details regarding name, mobile number, okay, all those OTP and all. I'll just show you here. These are the details. When you click on sign up, your first name, last name. Last name must be minimum one letter, so minimum two letters. It is not allowing. I also tried Hemant J. It is not allowed to uh, do a registration. Last name also minimum two letters it is asking. Suppose, sir, I have only one name. My name is only Hemant. There is no other thing. Here, first name Hemant, last name also Hemant you can keep. Or last name you can keep your family name. Right? Then your mail ID and your phone number. Okay? You are registered. And it will ask you the vote, uh, verification. Date of birth, details and all you have to share. Right? Mail ID, phone number, date of birth. And location, current location, you can go for drop down. You have Hyderabad, all those details. You can pick among the drop down. Here you can update that LinkedIn profile. I think you can see the screen. Okay, it's not star mark, no star mark, optional. But if you have LinkedIn account, you can update here also. All right. Next, you have to select. This is only for female, no? Even. Okay, my name, I am male, but I just want to show you the registration process. I clicked on female, and as you people have freshers, we have to click on fresher. Here, a lot of skills are mentioned. C is there, C++, we have to check the drop down clearly. Python, what are the skills you have, you can mention. And preferred location, which location you want to work. You want to work in Hyderabad or what, that location is also you need to select. And job role, you can, again, you have a lot of drop downs. Okay, a lot of roles are there, many roles are there you have to select among them, right? And uh, as we want internship and jobs both, I clicked on both actually. And then I saved this document, fine. Once you save it, okay, here sign up will complete. Now we have to do the registration. See this first step completed. First step is sign up completed. Now I have to click on the second step registration process. First step done. Second step I need to click on registration process. When we go for a registration process, yeah, it is asking first name, last name already you given, that will be shown here. Then it is asking your mail ID and your alternate email ID, if anything, yeah, your 
email id if you have any other alternate mail id fine at the rate gmail is okay no need of college mail id you can just go for at the rate gmail.com if you have another email id let's say mail for hey month at the rate if it is available yeah i'll put a fear if it is there we can mention and in fact second phone number also if you have, i have my one more number so i can mention that if you have another my phone number another mail id you can mention nothing wrong and date of birth here i given all false data okay you can use date of birth and pg students need to select pg as you people most of the people are ug you select ug and uh, okay for uh, apm telangana we call it's like a b tech but okay for uh, states which is chennai and uh, bangalore okay uh, tamil nadu and bangalore or uh, karnataka they may generally go for bachelor of engineering like that so depends on that okay what are the degree you are right now you have to select if college name is in the list fine not in list means then select others and then type your college name clearly here right and select the branches in drop down ec all branches are there it's not only for a csc and also ec also eligible electronics electrical everybody eligible you just draw go for the drop down select your respective branches let us say for csm students of okay, computer science and machine learning and data science students if it is not available you can select computer science engineering as you comes in the that umbrella okay if not you can go ahead and uh, in drop down you have only one option yes 2020 as this application is for 2020 in drop down it will show only one thing and next cgpa you can mention whatever it is as of now as your secondary students okay uh, some diploma students also joined for second year we don't have cgp approximately give we are going to expect Seven CGP or eight CGP, you can put in approximately no problem, right? Then we click on Add More. Okay, means see this you have to click on Add More, click. Then you see this Diploma or Intermediate, those details. Okay, then you can click on Add More and you can add your tenth class related details as well, right? Okay, you can add those details. That's good actually. From higher education to lower education, you can keep adding. you have education details you can add them next here you can see github link no star mark if you have account in github it's good you can mention that you have okay, if you already created github link account you can mention that and you have to work daily that will reflect here also if you are already done in internship you can mention which company and all which role you apply if it is not there no problem no star mark this is optional but if you have any internships it's good you can update that optional this have no star mark achievements okay in your academics in your non academics let's say i just mentioned academic top no need to mention from your end same thing if your academic top or okay or else you can mention like okay i am uh, maybe i got good marks in uh, c language or as all so on so 100 problems in c language something related to your academics you did some nptel codes nptel certification Or related to your academics, anything you can mention here. Non-academics means it's related to sports, cultural activities. I lead. Okay, I'm in uh, NSS team. Okay, or you are NSS team member, or you can say you are a volunteer for so and so event, or you are participated in any games or sports. You can mention cultural activities, anything you can mention here. This is non-academics. Okay, so you can mention all those details related to non-academics. Then, okay, if it is not there, you can just see. and you are not applicable you can apply not applicable if you don't have anything but i suggest to people to mention some achievements if it is not that you can mention not applicable na they clearly mention na is not applicable and any competitive platform like we said hacker rank code chef hacker rank account what's your global rank if you have hacker rank account or code chef account or lead code account you need global platforms or hacker net or code forces in this what's your rank please mention rank or position achieved in any competitive platform so that's why we request you people to have your accounts in all these global platforms and you can share it here okay it's not only in second year it's going forward if you want to enter into product based companies this is very much badly required and active backlogs okay education gap generally they expect no if any education gap they'll ask you the reason also if it is yes, there is a gap 
let's say after 10th you take in one year gap then join your intermediate diploma or after diploma or intermediate you have some gap before joining to engineering you have to mention and then ask me some reasons also right and attachments your photo and okay photo should be not in this way actually it should be striped it's not correct okay your photo should be looking to the camera right? this is not correct photo right i just put it as a sample and make sure it should be photo should be less than 3 mb okay your resume should be like this right and you have to give i agree i agree then submit the registration will be successful uh, before that sorry it is checking your mail id previously it is checking your mobile number with otp verification now it will check your mail id with otp verification then registration will be successful then you can check that confirmation once it is done now you can come out you can see here you got it like a registered right so this is the entire process i believe you people understand if any doubts you can ask in the comments and i am putting uh, okay uh, this document in this telegram if you want you can find that document in the telegram also this document entire process i am attaching in the telegram thank you all hope you understand the process link and everything i'll put in the description also